know, I'm getting mighty tired of your trifling ways and of listening to that jackass Bray. Liar, liar, pants on fire. I, like, I ain't never, ever been the chick to never handle my business. Sir, you haven't handled your business in over four years now. Who do you think you're fooling? And the people who hate me know I'm not that type of chick. Again, who do you think you're fooling? You absolutely are that type. You run from every responsibility possible. That's how you ended up being extradited from St. Thomas. That's why they delighted in you fuckers getting in the way of me handling I wish I could slap the shit out of that dude. In fact, I want to shoot him. Threats like that is what gets accounts suspended and deleted. You should be more careful. You also better hope nothing happens to him. You'll look pretty suspect if it does. I swear. I don't like him. You may not like him but you definitely love and are obsessed with him. It's the typical celebrity stalker profile. You're obsessed. You love. You hate. You make threats. You lie. You're no different than every other loony loser who's obsessed with someone who's way, way out of their league. You really should go find your homeless boo slash tent attack actor. DeAndre, he's still out of your league. He has his own phone after all, but you just might have a chance with him. Please tell him to step the f off. Sir, why are you asking strangers to relay messages to someone who you communicate with telepathically? Tell him yourself, Mr. Miami Medium. I ain't never met somebody so immature and un like not self-aware we've been past talking we're way past talking i don't want to hear anything from this person they so corrupt i paid my fees I ain't never, ever been the chick to never handle my business.
And it said it was going to send a copy of it to my email, the email address I put on file. I checked my email, it hasn't been sent. Good thing I have the form. Good thing it's public record. The receipt is right online for everyone to see. And I logged my reference number. Because that's super important to keep when literally anyone in the world can pull up your huge $5 payment. For someone who plays to be a technology and internet expert, why does this bitch know less than most senior citizens? When she sold her soul, she must have had to throw in the majority of her brain cells to get Lucifer to accept the deal. There's no other way that a neurotypical person can be this clueless. Yeah, Court of the 11th Judicial Circuit in Miami-Dade County Payment Plan Agreement. This is why y'all been going to my job, trying not to get me on the schedule. Not working your fake job shouldn't stop you from paying $5 a month, sir. Well, now I'm good till October, so what y'all finna do? You should be good until 2030. You could sell that cat five times a month to have the money to make that monthly payment. Schedule. Y'all know it's illegal for these places to be hoarding my social security number like this if I'm not gonna be working the shifts. Yeah. No. They're not hoarding it. It's not their fault that you can't pass a criminal background check because you're a felon. When we had an agreement that I was... Because that means that they got my information under false pretenses. No. It. Does. Not. I only gave them my information for employment and I was told that I was hired and they got my fingerprints and we took drug tests and we did all of these things, so... Ding 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 bitch. You just said it genius. They got your fingerprints because you were hired pending the results of your criminal background check. Which requires your social security number. That came back stating the truth. That you, Miss Browning, Lopez are a felon. A felon with a violent charge. You're not eligible for employment. It's not their fault that you claimed to be able to pass a background check knowing what you've been charged with. That is a form of lying too. What? Does it physically hurt you to be truthful? Is your truth that embarrassing to you? You do realize that your truth is the result of your choices, right? College educated professional who was on the honor roll all her life. Had a DBA since 2006. Took the OnlyFans money I made and got my LLC off the ground and got my business registered and ran ads in the local paper. Got my business registered in the state of Florida for five years. I'm good. You paid to create an LLC. Seriously, bitch. A child could do that it's so simple. In May we'll see if you file an annual report and pay the $138.75 fee required to keep that LLC current. Wait. Your spirit is speaking. He said that you won't follow through. Your LLC will be invalid by May 2nd, 2021. Damn your spurt is out here speaking truth on your funny shaped ass. You better check him. It's a lot going on. You know, it's a very sensitive time in a woman's life, month, etc, etc. <laughs> They're stressing me out and I want to eat my feelings right now. And I lost weight. Like my little, uh, there's a hella room in these pants. It's loose. But I was going to leave it at the iced coffee and just get something small. And I was like, no, give me a Big Mac. I'm tired. I don't even, like, I don't want to fight anymore. I don't want to think anymore. I'm tired. Um, I have to get some things together offline. So it'll be a, a while before the readings. Just make sure y'all turn on my notifications. You gotta love how people lie to themselves. I left a whole marriage because I don't give a hell about cute pictures, fake vacations, and none of that other stuff. Like, no. I don't need a title or a relationship to make me feel like a complete person. And I don't look at other people's relationships to validate or to feel like I'm missing something in my own life. I'm not a regular basic bitch. I've never been. It's going to take a strong man, a real man, who has principles to be able to rock with me. Otherwise, they can't keep up, and I don't apologize. So no, 
I don't look at other people's relationships and feel anything. I don't feel anything. Because it's not like those men will be any better equipped to deal with me. Dude, I've traveled a little bit of everywhere. I know how to strike up a conversation with practically anyone if I feel like it. If I want to. But that has nothing to do with a relationship. I'm looking for a life partner. I'm looking for somebody that I want to raise children with and I know that they're gonna be a good father and that we can cultivate a good life for them. And that's a deeper commitment. And I'm getting mighty tired of your traveling ways and of listening to that jackass Bray. Liar, liar, pants on fire. 